What's going on? What is going on, Faithful? It is your boy, Niner Sickness, with the Niner Sickness Report. How's everybody doing on this Friday? Hope you guys are having a great, great day. Um, Welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. It is Friday. Uh, let's talk a little bit of football, guys. Let's talk a little bit of football. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, discuss what the Niners should do, what they're going to do, and so forth. What's up, Ronnie? Welcome, welcome, Ronnie. Let me uh, give me a second. Welcome, James. How you doing? What's up, Roberto? Armando, what's going on? Renee, Jason. Alfonso, what's going on, everyone? Um, hope everybody's having a good time. What's up, Justin? What's up, brother? I am, once again, your boy, Niner Sickness, with the Niner Sickness Report. I love talking 49er football. This is my page, Niner Sickness. Also, if you guys can be kind enough and support your boy, Niner Sickness, YouTube channel, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Uh, go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Type in Niner Sickness. It automatically takes you to my, my channel. Like it, subscribe to it. Once I reach a 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away three jerseys. A Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, and a George Kittle jersey to three lucky winners. All you got to do is be part of my YouTube channel to win. So support your boy. Go to my YouTube channel, click Niner Sickness, and let's all have fun. If you're already part of the of the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Much appreciated. Brian, how you doing, sir? How's everybody doing today? It is Friday. I'm coming on here on my Niner Sickness Report Show. Uh, later on today at uh, 7 p.m., we're having our we're having our NWA podcast. So I'm not going to talk too much about the 49ers today because we're having our NWA podcast at 7 p.m. with me and the guys. So uh, tune in, tune in tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For our YouTube show, you got to be on YouTube though. 
the NWA is only on YouTube. So if you're not part of the NWA podcast, go to YouTube, type in NWA, and you'll be able to watch our show tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, There's a lot of things going on, as you guys all heard about uh, J.J. Watt going up to the McNair family, uh, re- requesting to be uh, released. Both J.J. Watt and the Texans have come to a mutual agreement. They're both going to part ways. So now J.J. Watt is on, is released, and will be able to choose whatever team he may want to go to. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he decides. <clears throat> a lot of people are saying he might go to Green Bay because he's from Wisconsin. A lot of people are saying he may go to uh, Pittsburgh because his brother TJ Watt plays there. He'll get a chance to play with his brother. Some people will say he may go to the Bucks to contend for a Super Bowl. Who knows? Who knows where he will end up? Roberto Hayes, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Uh, Carlos, what's up, brother? Uh, is now or never to get the elite quarterback Watson. Else we're going to settle for a mediocre quarterback. We live for now, and we ain't going uh, to know if we going to live for later. Live for later, excuse me. Let's win the Super Bowl. That's a very good point there, uh, Carlos. Welcome to the show, brother. Welcome to the show. Good to see you, man. Good to see everyone. Yeah, man. Um, the whole situation with uh, with uh, Deshaun Watson. Um, he wants out of Houston. Now, the Houston Texans have said over and over and over, they are not going to shop. Deshaun Watson, but Deshaun Watson claims he does not want to play for the Texans no more. So they're playing a game of chicken between Deshaun Watson and Houston. I don't expect anything to happen right now. When Once we get closer to March 17, when we hit free agency, if nothing happens then, prior to the draft is when things will begin to heat up uh, with, with the situation of Deshaun Watson. Because if he doesn't want to play, the Houston Oilers, excuse me, Houston Oilers, oh my God, the Houston Texans are going to want to get some type of revenue for Deshaun so they can use to rebuild their sorry ass team. So even if we don't hear nothing between now and then, everything else between now and then is speculation. Uh, expect things to heat up after uh, free agency, and closer the closer we get to the draft is when you're going to start hearing a lot, a lot of the Deshaun Watson where he may. End up now for what I heard, and a lot of people are saying this. A lot of uh writers that have credibility saying that there's two teams that Deshaun Watson wants to go to 49ers and the Denver Broncos, those are the two destinations that he prefers to go to based on what writers have been writing out of Houston. A lot of people think, well, he may want to go to the Jets because the Jets has more uh, to give to the Texans. But remember, Deshaun Watson uh, has a no-trade clause. So it doesn't matter what Houston wants. What matters is what Deshaun wants. Now, if Deshaun did not have the trade clause, then I would see Houston talking to the Jets trying to inquire that second pick overall plus future first rounds for Deshaun Watson. 
that will be the smart move for the for the Houston uh, Texans. But because Deshaun Watson has a no trade clause, if Deshaun doesn't want to go to the Jets, as much as Houston will get the best uh, picks in return, it's not going to happen. I say all this to say this. What benefits the 49ers is that Deshaun Watson has the authority to pick where he wants to go. And if Deshaun Watson really wants to come to the 49ers, then the Niners have leverage to make a trade with Houston. In other words, if Deshaun wants to come to the 49ers, the Niners don't don't have to give up so much for Deshaun. The leverage will be on the Niners. And we are lucky that Deshaun has a no trade clause. Now, the key thing here is, does Deshaun want to come to the San Francisco 49ers and play for us? That is the key. If he really is element, he really wants to come to the Niners, then John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan can definitely work their magic getting him over here. But don't be misunderstood. Even if Deshaun Watson wants to come to the 49ers, it is still going to cost the 49ers at least two number one draft picks and a player. And I know that a lot of you guys are very fond and and attached to a player named Nick Bosa. A lot of you guys don't want to get rid of Nick Bosa. You guys are like, Nick Bosa is the cornerstone of our defense. He is the best pass rusher. And I agree 100% with all that. Nick Bosa is a elite pass rusher. But let's get real. When you have the opportunity to go after a quarterback of the caliber of Deshaun Watson, that quarterbacks like Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, uh, Dick Bress, uh, what's his name, uh, Aaron Rodgers, they're not available very often. The fact that that Deshaun Watson wants out of Houston. This is the opportunity for the 49ers to put a package together and go after him. But it's going to cost a player, elite player. So what I want to hear from you guys in the comments, will you guys be willing to give two number ones and... Nick Bosa for Deshaun Watson. Or you guys are like, nope, we are not trading Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson isn't going anywhere. Excuse me. Nick Bosa is not going anywhere. We're keeping Nick Bosa. If we can get Deshaun Watson, that is great. But Nick Bosa is not going anywhere. Now, if that is the case, Let's say we can manage a bringing in uh, Deshaun Watson with his contract. Keep Nick Bosa. We're going to sign Trent Williams to a very good contract. We're going to sign Jason Verrett. And Jason Verrett doesn't really move the needle. But we're going to sign um, Fred Warner. Okay. So now with the contract of Deshaun Watson, Trent Williams, and Fred Warner, in two years, especially if Nick Bosa has plays year three the way he played his rookie year, he's going to get paid about 25 to $28 million a year. That's a lot of money. 
if we keep Watson, can we afford to keep Bosa in two years? Probably not. He'll probably be too much money. So if we get the opportunity to put Bosa in a package to send to Houston to bring Watson, I myself like that idea. Now, I'm not, I love Bosa. I have his jersey. As a matter of fact, I have more than one jersey of Bosa. I love, anybody that knows Niner Sickness knows this. I am a defensive player. I played on defense when I played high school football. I love defense. Defense is always my preference over offense. So I love Nick Bosa. I want Nick Bosa to be on the 49ers. But if you have the opportunity to bring in a quarterback, a premier quarterback, an elite quarterback, a quarterback that is a top five, tier one quarterback, We have to take that opportunity and try to make it work. It's not every day that you can bring in a quarterback like Deshaun Watson to your team. And I understand a lot of us love Nick Bosa. We are attached to Nick Bosa. But listen, see here? It says 49ers right here. It says 49ers. Those are the... Those are the colors of the team, not of the player. So I support the Niners first, players second. Yes, I'm in love with Bosa. Yes, I'm in love with George Kittle. I'm in love with D Ford. I love these players because they are game changers for our team. But I support the 49er logo first. Uh, and I want what's best for the team. So even though I love Bosa, if we get the opportunity to bring someone like Deshaun Watson, we got to take that. We got to take advantage of that, ladies and gentlemen. We need to take advantage of the opportunity to bring a caliber quarterback. Listen, Deshaun Watson is 25 years old. He will be with playing for us for the next 10 to 13, 14 years. He moves the needle. So let me start reading that. That's my point on this. Let me read some of the, let me read some of the comments and then I'll proceed on what, on what I think we should do. Let's see here. Bagwagon fans be like, I we want Watson. I don't know if I agree with you there, Roberto. What's up, David Williams? How you doing, sir? Welcome to the Niner Sickness Report. Alex, what's up, brother? Welcome to the Niner Sickness Report. Niners, baby, next year belongs to us. Health is a lot when you're going to the Super Bowl. Yes, we need to be healthy. We definitely need to be healthy on key areas. Every year, Niners are going to lose players to injury. It's part of football. But we definitely need to maintain health in order for us to be effective and go anywhere. Julian Vasquez, how you doing, brother? Welcome to the Niner Sickness Report. Get a, get a bolt and our destiny will be back. Get them both. That's the thing. If we get Deshaun and keep Bosa, we're going to have to make a run in 2021. Because in 2022, Bosa is going to cost a lot of money. Uh, That's just a thought. What's up, Victor? How you doing, Victor? Welcome to the Niners Sickness Report. Niners can't sign every player that gets released. Wish people would just stop with that. Oh, I'm pretty sure you're thinking about uh, J.J. Watt. Uh, Yeah, brother, I know. I know a lot of Niner fans are, just like any other fan base, whenever a position player gets released or is available for trade, 
Niners fans get excited and they want to bring him in. You got to look at the whole picture. Is this player that just got released or is available for trade, how will he help us in the long game? We can't just want to bring someone like J.J. Watt, even though we, it sounds great. J.J. Watt, um, Nick Bosa, you got Devon Kinglaw, you got D.J. Jones, or you can move Armstead into, into the inside. That sounds great, right? But J.J. Watt is prone to injury. He is past his 10 years in his career. How effective would he be? And how much would he cost? Now, if he comes in at a, at a minimum, then I will consider it. But J.J. Watts is going to want to get paid. He's going to want to go play with his brother or play Green Bay because he's from Wisconsin or maybe play with Tom Brady with the Bucks. I don't see him coming to the 49ers, honestly. All oh, right, on. Yeah, I like I like uh I like that patch, brother. Ain't no bag wagon fan here. Just be in real freedom of speech. You might be yeah, listen guys, listen real quick. Um we are all entitled to our own opinion. Let's not attack each other. Um we all we are all family. We all love the 49ers. And we have our own perspective of what the Niners should do. Let's be respectful to one another um, because uh, um, some of us want Watson. Some of us don't. Some of us are okay with uh, with trading uh, Bosa. Some of us are not. But it doesn't give us the right to attack each other just because we don't agree with one another. Let's have the common courtesy to agree to disagree. Correct? We are family. And that's what matters. What's up, Ismael Ortiz? What's up, brother? Much love and respect, brother. Good to see you. Why keep hearing... Why I keep hearing Shanahan wants... Oh, I know. The whole Sam Darnold situation, it is puzzling. It is. It is puzzling to me why Kyle Shanahan would want Sam Donald. Everything I hear from Jet fans, everything I hear from out of New York, is that Sam Donald is not a good quarterback. If we're going to trade for Jimmy, if we're going to trade Jimmy G, we better trade for a quarterback that is going to impact the 49ers immediately for years to come. I don't want to bring a Jimmy Garoppolo 2.0. Personally, i rather ride with Jimmy G than Sam Donald. I'd rather go with Jimmy G than Sam Donald. Sam Donald um, does not blow my mind as a quarterback that can really, that we can win championships. I want a quarterback like Deshaun Watson that can come in, move the needle, and be productive and help us win. Then I can trade Jimmy G. But for Sam Donald, I am not or want that to happen. I hope that is just a bunch of smoke with no fire with it. Only two players are untouchable, Kittle and Bosa. Victor, truth be told, nobody is untouchable. Nobody, I I hear what you're coming from. You love Kittle, you love Bosa. They are both impact players that help the team win. I I hear what you're coming from. But no player is untouchable, in my opinion, especially for a caliber uh, of a player like Deshaun Watson. Now, if you ask me, do we trade Bosa for Aaron Rodgers? Hell no. Do we trade Bosa for Sam Donald? Hell, hell, hell no. 
No way. But for a Patrick Mahomes, a Deshaun Watson type of quarterback, hell yes, you trade either Bosa or Kittle for a quarterback like Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Watson. Why? Because when you have the quarterback under center that is able to win games, you can surround him with players uh, and he'll make the team better. A lot of you guys may not agree with me, and that's okay. Again, I want to make sure I'm clear. I love Bosa. I love Kittle. I want them on the team. I do not want them to leave. But I also like the chances of getting a a tier one quarterback like Deshaun Watson. Not happening, brother. See, a lot of us, we are fans and we love our players. But you got to take, you got to remove the fan aspect out of your thought process and you got to enter the GM. What is better for the 49er brand and not necessarily the player? You got to think like a GM. That's why the, the job of a GM is never easy. That's why GMs make the hard decisions. Um, Let me read some more of these comments real quick. Julian says, give Solomon Thomas and Armstead two number ones and get Watson and Watt. Julian, honestly, first and foremost, Solomon Thomas, nobody wants him. Secondly, he is a free agent. He is not under contract. So we cannot trade someone that is not under contract with the 49ers. So that won't happen. Houston will not trade Watson and Watt. Also, Watt has been released by the Texans. So he is no longer under contract. So Houston cannot trade J.J. Watt. And we cannot trade Watson. Okay. So that's not going to happen, Julian. What's up, Jerry? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Welcome to the Nine of Sickness Report. Donald Bernal, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Much love and respect. Uh, I'm not going to say it now. King Law is going to be even scarier this year. I agree. I like what I saw in in Kinlaw. Kinlaw is only going to get better. He's only going to get better. Niners all day. Stay repping like you, Niner Beto. Thank you, Eric Boss. And I got your I got I got your um your email. So I'll be getting that patch to you, brother. Um hey Kathy. Good to see you, Kathy Sanchez. How you doing? Good to see you. David Williams says, two number ones and two number twos and Bosa. That's probably about right, David, for a trade uh, for Deshaun Watson. Well, I'll say trade that number one pick. John doesn't have a good track record in the first round. Well, I like Javon Kinlaw. I definitely like Brandon Ayuk. And now I understand where you're coming from, Donald. You're referencing you're referencing the Solomon Thomas and probably the the uh Reuben Foster. Now keep in mind, let's be realistic guys. The Solomon Thomas and Reuben Foster came upon year one of Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. Year one. They were new to the game. 
that it was their first year and they are entitled to make mistakes. I wish Solomon Thomas would have planned out. I wish Reuben Foster would have planned out. But I got to say this, year two, year three, and year four, the players that the Niners have picked have been pretty good. Now, Jalen Hurd, I don't know what's up with him yet. Um, I can't say one way or the other because he hasn't played football for the Niners yet. But I like what John Lynch and Kyle Shannon has done for after year one. They have improved. They have gotten better. So, um, you know, what's up, Rosilla? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Listen, guys, real quick. At 7 p.m. tonight, uh, Pacific Standard Time, me and my brothers are going to be having the NWA show. Uh, so come and check us out at 7 p.m. Uh, tonight. And we will be on YouTube. Last mediocre quarterback to win a Super Bowl is Foles. That's one out of 100. I respect everyone's perspective. And at the, at, at the end, we all uh, routine for our nine. Let me read this right. I, I think you meant to say we all root for our Niners. Respect to Beto and the Niner family. Right on, Carlos. Much love and respect, uh, Carlos. Yeah, one thing I'm always going to preach here. Oh, I took that off, didn't I? Hold on, guys. One thing I'm going to preach uh, here is that um, we are family. We are family. We love the Niners. We all we all have our own individual opinions of what we want the Niners to do. Why? Because we love our Niners. We have passion for our 49ers. We are excited for our Niners. And that's all good. That's Man, I welcome that passion. I welcome that. Listen, I will listen to everybody's opinions. I may not agree with your opinion, but I will listen to it. Because... What you say matters. I may not agree with it, but it matters. Why does it matter if I don't agree with it? Because you love the 49ers and you are important. And since you are important and you love the 49ers, your opinion matters. So let, we all get along. We all respect one another. And we all have the common courtesy to agree to disagree in a respectful manner. And this is why I love each and every one of you here on the Niner Sickness Report because of the loyalty that you have for the 49ers. But being that humble person, not to get into an argument on a difference of opinion. Mahomes can't stay where he's at. I don't quite understand that question. Can you elaborate for me on that, uh, Israel? No, Sam, no, Aaron. Yes, Watson. Uh, right on. I don't agree on Kittle, bro. I understand. Again, it's okay. It's okay if you guys don't agree, and I respect that. I know that Kittle is a valuable player. He's the top tight end. I understand all that. Nick Bosa is a top pass rusher, a dominant, scary pass rusher. But I'm not just, understand this. I'm not trying to trade Bosa or try to trade um, Kittle just for anybody. That's not what I'm doing. They're not available for just any type of trade. We're talking about Deshaun Watson, a top-tier quarterback, a top-five quarterback. 
that it's 25. They can lead the 49ers to championships for the next 10 to, to 15 years. When you have the opportunity to trade for a quarterback of the caliber of Deshaun Watson, all I'm saying is the Niners should consider every possibility to make it happen. But I'm not saying that we should trade Bosa and Kittle just for anyone. Absolutely not. But for a player of the caliber of Deshaun Watson, we have to really consider that option. That's all I'm saying. Now, it doesn't mean that Sean Watson's coming to the Niners. It doesn't mean that, that, that Bosa's going anywhere. This is all speculation. This is all talk because it is the offseason. And what else do we have to do in the offseason to self-entertain ourselves other than speculate on what we want to happen whether or not it actually happens. What's up, Jason Morales? What's up, my brother from another mother? How you doing, brother? Always an honor to see to have you here, brother. Much love and respect. Let's try to get JJ Watt. Uh, I don't know if I'm in, I, I don't know if I am in the sweet stakes. For J.J. Watt. I don't think we need him. We have Armstead. Um, yes. Don't chew me out. I'm not comparing J.J. Watt to our Eric Armstead. And who's better and who's not. I'm just saying we have Eric Armstead. If we do not go after Deshaun Watson. And we sign Trent Williams and we signed Jason Verrett. Then I am open of keeping the number 12th pick and going after a pass rusher or a corner. Going after a corner or pass rusher at number 12. Bring in someone that can complement Bosa from the draft, especially if we do not know what's going to happen with D. Ford, can we trust D. Ford in staying healthy? Probably not. Probably not. So if we ride with Jimmy, then we should consider keeping the number 12 pick, picking at number 12, taking a corner or a pass rusher with that pick and move forward. What's up, Lucky? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you, my man. Plus, we don't know what Bosa is going to be like after a couple of plus tears. Yeah, I mean, this this, this is his second ACL tear, one on each knee. So, I don't know. But he's he's recovering very well. He looks very good. And I think he'll be ready for the OTAs, if we have OTAs. And definitely be ready for week one of the 2021 season. Houston gets Wentz. Niners get Niners two number ones. Uh, two number uh, two number ones. Two number and 22 and a second round in 21. Philly gets Houston's first and second round pick. And Niners get Watson. Okay. So now you're doing now, now now Jason's bringing a whole couple of team blockbuster trades. That's an interesting thought. I've been reading that on Twitter as well. A couple of block a black blockbuster trades where a few teams get involved and trades happen. I love that when that happens. I love to see that when it happens in the NBA. And it'll be interesting to see if it happens in the NFL. What's up, Josh Blackwood? How you doing, sir? Good to see you, brother. My do my day is doing great. How's your day? It is Friday. The weekend is here. I cannot complain. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it. 
All right, so my beautiful wife gave me that look like we have to be somewhere. So I'm going to end this live. It has been interesting talking to you guys about the Niners. Listen, guys, please support my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, type in Niners Sickness, and subscribe to my Niners Sickness YouTube channel. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away three, three jerseys. Nick Bosa, George Kittle, and a Fred Warner jersey. And all you got to do is be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. So go to YouTube, subscribe to my channel. With that said, with that said, my YouTube channel, Niner Sickness. Um, we will be having a show tonight at 7 p.m. with the NWA, Niners with Attitude, uh, YouTube channel. If you want to join us as we discuss more in depth about our 49ers. Everyone, it's been a pleasure on chatting with you. Uh, Darren, what's going on? Dina, what's going on? Glenn, uh, nice to see you, brother. Ronnie Richardson, good to see you. Alex Gutierrez, good to see you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for following me on my page under Niner Sickness. I also have a group, Niner Sickness, on Facebook if you want to be added to it. And support your boy on my YouTube channel, Niner Sickness. I appreciate you guys, and we will see you later. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Stay faithful to the art 49ers, baby.